Hello Dippy Dinos and welcome back to the Dinosaur Toy Blog channel. I've got a bit of a backlog here of uh, boxes and bags to open. So let's begin. So I'm going to start off here with um, what is quite obviously the Rebor Komodo Dragon. This was sent to me um, to review on the Animal Toy Blog by Everything Dinosaur, they were very kind to send me a review copy a very long time ago actually. Uh, I think it was even before Christmas, it might have even been October. We, anyway, I'm way, way behind on this, so apologies to them for taking so long to get around to this, but uh, I'm finally un 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 unboxing it or opening it, and, uh, and then I'll be able to review it on the Animal Toy Blog, which is actually doing very well these days. Check it out if you haven't already. So let's use these trusty red scissors. Probably the easiest unboxing of all time. And it is a beautiful model. I'm not going to talk about it too much uh, because I'll save that for the uh, for the review. But I mean, you can just see here the, the detail is really quite spectacular. I mean, yeah, it's uh, museum quality. To say the least, I'd be happy to put that in a museum. And I work in a museum, so I should know. So yeah, really, really impressive. We'll come back to that another time. Okay, we've also got a few boxes here. This one was a gift from my mum. She knows me well. This was a Christmas present. Plesiosaurus 3-in-1 by... Is it M-Y? My... My bricks are anyway, it's an obvious Lego knockoff. There are 68 pieces in this, age six and up, so I'm safe. And you can also make other things. Building bricks. On the back, another view of the Plesiosaurus. Instruction sheet included, 68 pieces, blah, blah, blah. Um, Bernardo, I think this was found in a, uh, in a second hand shop. So that's it. Very nice, let's open it. I have actually already opened this. I couldn't resist. So at Christmas time, I did put this together. It's a weird old thing. Let me let me put the uh, the other flipper back on. It seems to have come off. It's all really rather random. So yes. A plesiosaur. As you can see, its neck goes up and down. Its head also. It's just such a weird, weird design. It's got these weird teeth on its back. Its tail is blue fire. Actually, two bits of blue fire. Its front flippers look reasonably plesiosaur-like, but the hind flippers are just weird. I don't know why it's got these little hook things. Anyway, it's got yellow eyes. For some reason, there's a little yellow bit that goes on the underside. Is that is that for real, or did I make that up? I can't remember now. Um, maybe I just put that on there. I had a spare piece. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Mm, where is it? Yeah, I might have might have just put that on as a spare piece. It's a really bizarre thing, but it's a plesiosaur, so it gets added to the collection. Um, that's just not going to stay on, is it, that flipper? Never mind. So that is the my plesiosaurus. That's my plesiosaurus. Moving it onto the side. Now we've got three eBay boxes. Uh, some of these have been sitting waiting to be opened for a very, very long time, um, months I think. So we'll begin with the oldest one, which is this one, in a very glossy box. See, it's a glossy box. So let's see what is inside. I, th I, I think I know what's in here. But it was a long time, so there might be other things in here that I can't remember. Let's see. Okay, nicely packaged. 
<laughs> okay, we'll go through these. Starting with a winged dragon. A very unusual winged dragon with long pointy ears, green eyes. The style here looks like Diagostini to me, so I'm guessing that this is a, a Diagostini figure. No markings, but it's hollow and uh, the little hole on the underside is reminiscent of some dinosaurs that I've seen. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Obviously this wasn't the figure that I bought this lot for. Let me put that away. So obviously this is the toy that I was after in this lot. A marine reptile, a very um, crude hollow plastic model of, I'm not sure what it's a model of, a mosasaur? It looks like a, it's a mosasaur shape body but the flippers are a little bit plesiosaur, pliosaur like, oops not the camera there. Um, uh, but I believe this was a figure that was on the, uh, that came with a magazine, the BBC Andy's Dinosaurs magazine. I haven't boxed those uh, before, a magazine with some rubber ichthyosaurs, um, but this I think is also part of that same magazine series that I happened to miss when they were in the shops, but uh, it's uh, another movie reptile to add to the collection. That was the sole reason why I bought this lot, the dragon was a bonus. Let's see what else was a bonus. Uh, yeah, okay, another one for the animal toy blog. Uh, is this a leopard? It says, made in China. Oh, it's a triple A, it's an AAA figure. So a mini uh, cat, it looks like it could be a baby leopard. Well, I'll have to investigate that if anybody knows. You know what to do, comment down the bottom. What else is in here? A pterosaur. This is hard plastic just like the Mosasaur. Well, let's call it a Mosasaur. We'll just go, go with that. And this is presumably part of the same magazine set. It's a Pteranodon. Hmm. Not too bad to be honest. I mean, the anatomy isn't too bad. It doesn't have bat wings. His feet are a little bit like human hands, that's a little bit unsettling, but otherwise not too bad. This also, I think in, in that same series, the um, magazine BBC Andy's Dinosaurs, no markings. This one's in two parts, it looks like you could probably break it apart. I don't think I'll be putting that one on display. Yeah, this one. Uh, I think I've got this one already. It's another one of the Andes dinosaurs figures. This is the um, rubbery uh, material. Oh, it's a bit dirty as well. I might I have to give these a bit of a clean. Um, don't know where they've been. And in this day and age, you can't be too careful. Oh, look, another marine reptile, which I've forgotten about. Now, I already have this one, maybe not in this color, but this is an Ophthalmosaurus. Also, Andes dinosaur, BBC magazine. There's a Stegosaur, Stegosaurus, uh, made in China, I think it says. Uh, yep, made in China, but no brand name. Don't know about that. Again, nothing too special. There's a few more things hiding in here. There is another Andes dinosaur. Dinosaur, I've got that one already as well. What's this? Ah, now this is a china saw that I've seen sold in, is it the pound shop? I think it's the pound shop. Um, I, I may well have an unopened packet, which includes this one. Um, yeah, unusual. You don't often see china saws of what looks to me like an ornithomimus or something like this, gallimimus. Interesting choice of species. What's this? And shark with particularly long flippers, not fins, I should say. It's not a reptile. Uh, don't know the make. Maybe that's one for the animal toy forum community to identify for me. 
There is another, oh yeah, this looks familiar. Um, made in China, Pachycephalosaurus, 1993. I have got this Pachycephalosaurus. I can't remember if it has a brand name, but I'm sure it's part of a much larger set, and I do have a few along similar lines. What else have we got? Uh, looks like a prosauropod of some sort, a very crudely sculpted prosauropod, maybe even a sauropod, could be Diplodocus for all I know. Uh, maybe it's part of that same series, the colour scheme and the plastic feels about the same. So yeah. Anything else? There is. There's a tiny, tiny little ankylosaur. Well, that's quite cute. Uh, I don't know anything about this one either. Are there any marks on the underside? No, not that I can see. I don't know what this... Maybe this came with the magazine as well. But uh, it feels a little bit different to the others. So I'm really not sure about that. Anyone know? Uh, oh, there's another... Oh, look! A little brachiosaur, which is obviously in the same line as this. Also no markings. Oh, they make a cute little pair. Hmm. Anybody know what they are? Kentrosaur. That's part of the Andes dinosaur range as well. I think I've unboxed that in the past. So nothing new. And lastly is a some sort of crab. Bizarrely. Oh look! <laughs> it's got a smiley face. Okay. Uh, don't know what this is from. It's very rubbery. But I don't think it is a rubber, you know, sometimes you get little rubbers, erasers in the shape of animals, but I don't think that's what this is. I think it's plastic. It's not going to do any damage with these pincers. Uh, yeah, cute little thing. And that's, oh no, there's one more. And a Ceratopsian Styracosaurus by the look of it. Uh, oh, this one says China on the underside. Did the... Uh, did these Andes dinosaurs say China? No, they don't. This looks like it's something different yet again. So, another uh, mystery dinosaur for us to identify. Okay, that is that box done now, so we'll move that one aside. And move on to uh, this one. Okay. Trusty old box cutter knife. Trying to be careful. I might not even need the, the knife in this situation. Good old scissors. <laughs> oh wow! Some sage and onion stuffing. <laughs> well, people use. Whatever they have at hand, I suppose. This must be the invoice. Uh, let me just share. Yeah, invoice. Yep, toy dinosaur figures, mixed lot. Right. Uh, I'm going to get in here. They're in a box, and in the box they're in a bag. Okay. I don't think it matters too much if we muddle these up, but I'm going to just push these all to the side. And let's just pour these out and see. See if you can work out why I uh, ordered this lot. Okay. Now, there we are. This is a plesiosaur with metal inside it. And I have this already. Um, it's one of my first ever plesiosaur toys. Uh, it was part of a key ring, mine was, and it looks like this one, which has got a hole in the top like mine, was also part of a key ring. Um, I remember buying it in on holiday in Wales when I was maybe 11 or 12 years old, something like that. And I saw these ones and it was the first time I'd ever seen this figure. Uh, since that one that I bought in uh, uh, in my youth and I don't normally collect duplicates but I was so curious 
about this one and I also saw that there was the same figure in a different colour variant in fact twice there's two purple ones so I was just uh, interested to see um, these in, in more detail and I also noticed that uh, uh, with this lot were some other figures that looked to me like they're part of the same series as the please you saw and I wondered if that might help me to work out um, if there's a brand name associated with them or if they're just China saws so this one also has that that bendiness to it see the the legs bend they've got metal in them it's a triceratops and it's got the hole in the top which makes me think that it was part of that series it's the same size and everything there's another one triceratops it looks like it's the same sculpt but in a slightly different color uh, yep they're exactly the same oh there's another one triceratops same sculpt there's three triceratops then three plesiosaurs three triceratops and a pteranodon again it's got metal in it it's definitely part of the same series it says china uh, apart from that no markings so there is a purple pterosaur a yellow pterosaur and a pink pterosaur take your pick um, yeah interesting so when I bought mine way back in the day it was from one of those keyring racks that you often saw in and still do today in uh, gift shops and I uh, I don't remember there being others there but I'm, I'm sure there would have been at the time there's also a stegosaurus as part of that line <laughs> it looks a little bit flattened yeah a little bit flattened stegosaurus um, possibly a bit shocked to be so flat but it's definitely meant to be a uh, stegosaurus someone's hair there that's always nice um, there's only one of those then there is also <laughs> uh, this one really wants a hug <laughs> look it's got two fingers so I guess it's supposed to be a t-rex but that is the most bizarre <laughs> most bizarre looking t-rex uh, it's bendy again uh, in fact, another reason why I was uh, tempted by this lot is because my my single one of these plesiosaurs, the wire has broken in uh, in the, in the flippers and I think in the neck as well because it's it was uh, so well played with. This one looks like it's all intact inside, so uh, that, that's a benefit. But yeah, this one T Rex, yeah, funny looking thing. Um, I could well have the whole set here. Uh, oh, there's another T-Rex. Yep, brothers. Uh, finally, in that lot uh, is this sauropod. Again, looking quite squished flat, like the Stegosaurus. Um, metal all intact. So yeah, we've got... I'll put these to the side for now. In this series, um, there may be more, as far as I know. Uh, this is the complete set. There's a sauropod. A ceratopsian, a pterosaur, a theropod, presumably T-Rex, Stegosaurus, and the Plesiosaur. So one, two, three, four, five, six in that series. And I've got duplicates of everything except for the Stegosaur and Sauropod. So if anybody is interested in any of these let me know that's those rubbery things just thinking oh yeah I'm just checking they all have a little hole where presumably there was a key ring attached so the T-Rex has one in its head and the others have one in their backs um, what else do we have in here uh, a Dimetrodon don't recognize this one little China saw um, it says China on the underside, 1247-P, lower, yeah, su subscript 1F. Does that mean anything to anybody? doesn't mean anything to me. This is uh, one of the uh, Panini figures, but this looks like it is a, a, a re- mold i don't think this is the original panini sticker version it looks a bit smaller and it's in a slightly harder plastic but these are very very common uh, on uk ebay 
And then I've got these two uh, <laughs> two uh, pencil toppers. I guess these are erasers. Do I have a pencil nearby? I do. Let's see. Will it go on? Ha! <laughs> okay, that's quite nice. It looks like an iguanodon. It's got its uh, thumb giving a thumbs up and it sits on a pencil really nicely like that. So there's one and there's two. Two dinosaurs climbing up a pencil holding on for dear life. And the last thing in this lot was a McDonald's uh, Happy Meal box. What is this? Oh, it looks like it's a uh, transformer. Do they come out? Uh, I think it looks like some sort of crocodile. Looks like it's got legs that... Uh, oh yeah, there you go. The legs come out like that. I have to push them in at the bottom. Yep, a McDonald's... It looks like a turtle actually, of course. The box is a, is a turtle shell. Hmm. So there we are. That is... Uh, another box done. Or oh, let me just twist the camera. I've got a big old pile here of uh, dinosaurs adding up. And so moving on to the last box. Uh, this arrived relatively recently, and uh, there are no marine reptiles in here, if I remember correctly. I bought this for a different reason. So let's open it up, take a look. Turn it upside down. There we are. We're getting it. All right. Let's see. All right. They're all in bubble wrap. They're all brown. And they're all in a bag. Okay. Okay, bonus points for the first one to recognise the brand as we start to open them. Now let's just cut these open. That's right. Now, these are Mark's figures. Uh, as far as I could see from the images, they could well be knockoffs for all I know, but uh, they looked good quality to me, and I think they might be the real deal. And I only have one Marx figure, the Chronosaurus, but uh, all of these uh, looked really nice and I thought, why not? So let's see, is there any markings on here? There might be. This says 28 foot long and on the other side Parasaurolophus. You can see this beautiful detail on the skin there for a, a figure made what was it the 60s 70s and that's a re and yeah, really really good quality it's, it's almost as good as new so if these are the genuine article i think i got a really good deal here so this is the parasaurolophus i'll put that at the back we've got the moss chops i think this is the moss chops yeah i've never really looked in much detail at the uh, marks figures and there there's some beautiful details on here. Yep, it is moss chops, it says on the bottom. Moss chops, seven feet long. <laughs> it's grinning happily. There's another power silver lophus. Put that with the other one. Here is a megatherium. Looking nice. Yeah, these are really nice. They, they're very reminiscent, actually, of the um, the Invicta figures. They're monochrome, but I, I'm particularly fond of those, partly because I love the Invicta line so much. And these are very reminiscent of them, and much more detailed than I than I imagined marks to be based on the Chronosaurus that I own. Uh, what's this? Iguanodon. Really, really nice models. Wow. Wow, I'm really impressed. You can see that this one is definitely inspired by um, paleo art, maybe a Burian painting, something like that. It, 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 it's got that look about it. Very old-fashioned tail dragging, but um, 
yeah, I love these sorts of retro figures. I was also att attracted to them because they're all the same colour and something about that I, I quite liked. There's another Palazzo Alophus. I've got lots of figures here to trade. There's a, um, a very lanky dinosaur. Is this an Ornithomimus? Let's have a look. Tiny, tiny writing here on the tail. It says Struthiomimus. You might just be able to make that out. Really, really impressive. Again, we, we, we said only um, a few minutes ago that uh, you don't often see figures of, uh, of, of small, lanky theropods like this. But there you go. Go back to the 60s and they were making them then. And that's incredibly delicate. Look at, look at how thin the plastic is on the tail. And not a mark on it. These are really beautiful. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking I maybe should have opened these separately and made a separate marks video, but it's too late now. Another Megatherium. A beautiful Smilodon saber-toothed cat. Really nice sculpting there for the fur. A lot of detail. Smilodon, yep. Yeah. Put that over here. There's another Moss Chops. Oh, there's a Mammoth. Woolly Mammoth. Really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really impressed by these. Mammoth over here. They all stand really nicely as well. Two more. Uh, Styracosaurus, very nice, and another Styracosaurus. So, what does that uh, give me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different species, and I've got duplicates and triplicates of some. Uh, so, in addition to the Chronosaurus Marks model that I already have. Uh, that would make nine. So presuming these are um, original Marx figures, and please let me know, you might recognise them as something different. Knockoffs, maybe MPC, I think, is a, is a well-known knockoff of, um, of the Marx brand. Um, but now I'm tempted to, to fill in the gaps in this collection and uh, maybe complete my Marx set. And yeah, I'm really happy with this. And to show off a little, I got this whole set for £10 plus five pounds shipping. I saw it as a buy it now option and, and thought, no marine reptiles in there, but let's snap that up. So I'm uh, tempted to review some of these in, in a little bit more detail for the dinosaur toy blog. I think there's only one Marks figure review to date, so there's definitely a, a gap that we can fill there. I'll also be reviewing the Komodo dragon on the animal toy blog in due course. And I don't know what I'm going to be doing with the rest of these. Playing with them I guess. That's all for now. Until next time.